welcome back. You're still watching Morning Life and uh, we've got some great guests. Uh, in fact, uh, coming up shortly, we're going to be speaking French, I think, but more on that a little bit later on, because right now, the Chief Justice Mokheng Mokheng will be the guest speaker at this year's Victoria and Griffiths and Plenge Memorial Lectures at the University of KwaZulu-Natal School of Law. Now, this annual lecture is hosted every year on the eve of the law graduation ceremony and is used as a platform to recognize and reward academic excellence. Joining us now from our studio in Durban is Professor Carthy Govender from the School of Law at the University of KwaZulu-Natal to talk about this year's lecture. Thank you very much for joining us and a warm welcome to you. Thank you very much, Peter. It's very good to be on your show. Thank you. What a, what a guest to have, the Chief Justice, particularly at this time in our country's history. Um, what's he going to talk about? Do you have any idea? Uh, yes, firstly, we're very honored that the Chief Justice has ex uh, accepted our invitation to deliver this uh, very important lecture. And also, I think it's very opportune, given the events of the country, for us to continue this dialogue about issues that pertain directly to all the citizens and people resident in this country. So we're proud of that. We're also proud of the fact that the Chief Justice is a former student of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. So we will be welcoming back one of our own. So for those reasons, it's an important day for us. So some of the students graduating uh, tomorrow uh, will probably become a Chief Justice sometime in the future. Give us a, a sense of uh, the importance of these lectures. And when we talk about uh, Victoria and Griffiths and Klinger, uh, I guess that comes with its own history. Absolutely. I, I think there, there are two central objectives. Um, the first objective is to acknowledge and in a sense celebrate their lives and reaffirm the very important visions uh, that they paid the ultimate uh, price for. They, they sacrificed their lives for the vision of a more caring, just society. So the first thing is to acknowledge this. Uh, the second objective, I think it's a more difficult one, and the second objective is to hold a mirror to the society, uh, to do an audit of where we are and ask the question of all of us, are we realizing those visions? Are we being faithful to the legacy that people like Victoria and Griffiths and Tenge uh, bestowed upon this country? And, and more specifically, to ask of people who are exercising public power, who in part are there because of these sacrifices, are they being faithful to the vision that has been laid down by Griffiths and Victoria and Kenge. So it's both, uh, in a sense, a, a reactive process where we acknowledge and celebrate, but it's also a prospective process in terms of which we ask hard questions of ourselves and those that exercise public power in this country. All right, so how many uh, law graduates are you putting through the system uh, this year? And also, what, what are you hoping? What kind of lawyer are you training for the future? It's a big graduation ceremony for us, Peter. Mm. We have about 370 LLB graduates who, uh, who uh, will be getting the primary law degree that will enable them to practice and be productive in the society. The, we will have in excess of 70 LLM, those are our master's students, and uh, we have four doctoral students. So uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is probably the biggest cohort of graduates that we'll be producing uh, at the um, uh, School of Law at University of KwaZulu-Natal. The second part of the question, I think, is an interesting one. Mm. I think what we want to do is we want students to understand the law, to be effective practitioners, to make a contribution to the society. But we also want students to leave our law school understanding that they have to perform a role in current South Africa. We want them to leave knowing that the South African community have invested in them. They've invested in them for them to be independent. But also we want them to understand that this investment has been at a great cost to the people of this country and that they have to repay. And so we want students to leave our law school understanding that they have a commitment to achieving the broader visions of our constitution and to understand that there's a necessity for the social conscience uh, that we need all lawyers to demonstrate. All right. Uh, again, the, such a lot of history with these uh, particular uh, uh, lectures. Uh, you've got the Chief Justice this year. How do you arrive at who should come and address these students? Well, we, you know, we've had a, a number of uh, eminent persons uh, delivering this lecture. Uh, President Mandela delivered the first lecture. 
We've had uh, uh, Minister Kader Asmal, who is Minister of Education. But by and large, we've had a number of uh, senior judges, Justice Scuia, Justice Pais Langa, uh, Justice Mtiani. Um, last year, we had uh, Madam Justice Daya Pele. So we've had uh, a number of eminent judges. And we, we didn't anticipate that the Chief Justice would be delivering one of the major judgments of the Constitutional Court. And a week later, he'd be our guest. That, that's fortuitous, and it's uh, very welcome. Uh, so we, we, we think about uh, who would inspire the students and, in a sense, uh, give a better expression to, to what the Victoria and Griffiths and Kenge is all about. And, and the decisions are made on that basis. All right. And then the students, I guess, they see these uh, judgments uh, taking place in the courts. And, and I wonder what kind of debates and conversations take place uh, uh, with these budding lawyers coming through as they see these historic judgments coming through. Well, I, I think part of it is they must engage in the debate. Mm. Uh, they must immerse themselves in understanding what the Constitutional Court says, what other courts say. because. That's how knowledge is produced. Mm. And it's only if you produce critical knowledge that you sustain the constitutional order. And so for us, it's vitally important that the students remain at the cutting edge of the production of knowledge. And so it's important for the Chief Justice to be there. It's important for them to see that one of their own, who studied in our very uh, wonderful facilities at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, has achieved high office. And so that in itself is going, to be, is going to be inspirational for the students. All right, Professor Carthy, Governor, we're going to have to leave it there. But thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. And uh, we wish you the best uh, with this year's lecture with uh, Chief Justice Mokhoeng Mokhoeng. I appreciate the time. Thank you very much, Peter, and thank you to the listeners. All right, okay. So that was the uh, Professor uh, uh, Carthy Govender talking ahead of the Victoria and Griffiths Mtenge Memorial Lectures taking place at the University of KwaZulu-Natal.